You can cook a shoe and it'll taste delicious. You don't even have to bring your own, he says. And that's neat. It's Tom White. This is Teaching to the Test Pattern. Hey, buddy, welcome to Teaching to the Test Pattern. I'm Tom White, your host for this show. And today, continue our conversation with Rob Calloway from Columbia High School in Atlanta. In this episode, Rob's going to talk about successes. He's going to talk about getting those wins as a teacher. He's going to talk about how to to see those wins. He's going to talk about how to keep kids in your program. Uh, Everything you need to know and and just kind of relationships with the kids, Rob's going to talk about. He's going to talk about how he's built those relationships over time and he knows he knows his kids well enough that at one point he names some of the kids in the room and he's like that kid's got to win that kid's got to win that kid's got to win and he knows them well enough and he talks about that for a little bit before we get started though I want to thank our sponsor amatrace.com a m i t r a c e.com listen i went to lamar county high school a couple of weeks ago or actually it was early this week it feels like forever ago and I sat with Carol and some of her students there. They've got a great setup. Like, I kick myself regularly in my latest, uh, when I started where I am now, I had the opportunity to call somewhere like Amatrace, but I didn't because, let's be honest, sometimes I think I'm the smartest person in the room. I so should have. I probably would have ended up with a better deal than what I got. It probably would have been a lot less stressful, and I would have been in a better situation with my students. Amatrace.com, A-M-I-T-R-A-C-E.com. Go check it out. Give them a call. Set up an appointment. At least have the conversation with them to go, hey, here's what I want to do. Can we make this possible? Can What is it going to take? Have that conversation because not only are you going to get a good price, you're going to get good numbers, you're going to get the equipment you need for the situation you have, but you're also going to get training. You're going to get training and not just this button does this, but this button does this because, or this button does this, or why does that button do that? You're going to get those things. So amatrace.com, there's a link in the description below. Also, go over to the Teaching to the Test Pattern Facebook page, and I've got pictures from their setup at Lamar County High School. So go check that out. Go see what they got going on. Without any further ado, let's check out part two of this series with Rob Calloway. Teaching to the test pattern. So how do you feel? Because I know when I come into work, I go, these kids just take this for like, But then I think about when I was in high school, my mom said the same thing to me. She's like, you take that, you take you take all that for granted, all the cool stuff you got. I mean, this the the video production world opens up a lot of doors for students that they don't even know about. That's that's the thing that that and I say students, parents, other educators, administrations don't know about. In our classes, it's not just run around with a camera. Um, it, it's read, write, communicate, be creative. And that's one of those things that, a, as an educator, gets frustrating. And, and you know this, and it kind of goes into that. Um, and you mentioned don't quit. That's why a lot of, a lot of they quit. And, it, and, and the hardest part, and, and I'm not going to say that I've felt this, I'm not going to say that I haven't, is hate from other teachers. Because we come out of industry and we're used to 12, 16, 20-hour days. So on a Friday night, it's nothing for me to be on a press box till 10, 11 o'clock. Right. You feel that too? Or do you get that, you, that hate, for lack of a better you, word? You know, the only the only hate is, well, because you come from industry, they don't realize that, you, that you've gone to college too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was just like a different path that you just you chose to take. Somebody chose to go in the classroom at 22 Somebody chose to go into the studio at 22. So uh, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes, um, you know, you have folks that say, oh, well, all y'all do down there is just play with toys. You just play, <laughs> you know. But at the end of the day, like you said, it's more to it. And 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 the, the more that I'm involved in this, the more I realize that, you know, the God honest truth is, like, folks in our position actually – you know, and I and I hate to have to say this because I'm gonna have to start doing it once I say it. But it's important that teachers that, that teach audio, video, technology, and film be involved with the entire cluster, mm-hmm. because you know, for us, in order for us to be successful, we need kids that that take the ELA portion seriously, right? You got to be able to read and write. That's the biggest part of of a media job. You got to be able to do that, and not think that it's punishment. 
you know, you tell somebody to read and write a paragraph, they're like, oh, what did I do? Like, you didn't do anything. It, like, this is this is work. That's one of my biggest frustrations when I got into education. I was like, hey, just just write me 90 words. What, what, what are 90? Why can't I say it in 20? Because you can't say it in 20. 20 right. is a lot harder to write. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is one of my big pet peeves is that that reading and writing is punishment. And um, so let's 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 go positive for a moment. What has been your biggest win in three years? My biggest win. Oh, man, I got a lot of wins. I'm all about the W's. You know, any small thing is a win, yeah. right? You get your kids to come to class on time. That's a win, right? You get. Can I shoot a look over there real quick? You can shoot a look. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. If, if anything is you can, because here's the thing is that if you always look at the negatives, you will never find a positive, right? Yep. So my thing is, first block, if I can get the kid that's always late, to be to be the first one here, that's a win. Absolutely. Right? If I can get Dorian West to come to class on time every day, then that's a win. I heard right? just one day. Huh? One day is a streak for him as well. It's I a heard. streak, right? One day. And I wasn't even here that day. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to take the little things. I mean, like, the fact that, you know, I came in and I was able to uh, talk to my principal and be like, hey, you know, we're going to do this. I need a studio. So I got a studio right here on the other side of this wall. That's a win, right? Ryan Cameron gave me a, a vocal booth right there that at some point we're going to start doing voiceovers. That's a win. Carrie Hilson came out here and gave the class money, that check that we have up on the wall right there. That's a win. So, um, you know, anything, anytime my students do something, like Kenneth Hardaway, he played basketball. They're in the state playoffs. That's a win for me because that's my student. Hanaya Hester, she just made Royal Allure, which is our dance team. You know, that's a victory. Markel Sutton just made honor roll. That was one of my student athletes back there. Now, that's the one, boy. If Markel would ever stop, but he, he liked to fuss about doing work. But he liked to make the honor roll, which is weird. Like, nobody fusses about doing work and then make <laughs> honor roll. But he's on honor roll. He came in and showed me the card. That's a win for me. Ryan Bussell, she's a track athlete. She's about to graduate. So anytime my students graduate, that is the ultimate that win. That is the ultimate that win. That is the ultimate win. So um, Cedric Presley, I can't forget about him. That was, that was one of my first students. I had him since he been in, since he was in the ninth grade. He's in 11th grade now. Uh, does great stuff. Camera work. Now he's getting money from the church doing camera, yeah, you know, doing videos. That. Right. Because church got, oh, you know about church oh, money. Yeah. <laughs> church, <laughs> the church's money is, is just as good as anybody else's money. So, you know, you had to start looking at the little individual things that the kids are doing and, and, and kind of embrace it like that. Your kids, like, you know, anytime TJ does something, that's a win for, for you, right? Oh, yeah. So that's how you kind of got to look at it like, you know, that's a win. Because a lot of times kids don't know what it feel like to get a win. And I'm not talking about a, a win on the football field or on the basketball court, but just like a self win, you know, on a roll, getting a job, getting a promotion, any of that stuff. Those are those are wins, you know, um, having somebody to recognize you for your talent. That's that's a win. So 4 a.m. is a win most days. Oh, 4 a.m. is always a win, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I know that. Uh, 4 a.m. is uh, it, it, there's a lot of days that, at 4 a.m. That's is, the winner's hour. It is a championship. Oh, yeah. So uh, let, let's talk about. Um, <clears throat> How to how you have grown the program from, you know, from from when you were in the media center to where you are now. Talk about that process. Well, it hasn't been that part hasn't been easy because we're on block scheduling um, and we're on the semester system. So that means that, you know, we only get the kids for a semester. And if they're my intro class, you know, they might have something else they need to take because we start career tech in ninth grade versus 10th grade, like most of the counties, most of the school systems do. And so if you're in the ninth grade, you start out in my intro class first semester. You know, your counselor might say, oh, you need to take Spanish next semester, which means that you're not going to be with me. You know, that second semester is going to be the following school year. So that part is is one of the biggest frustrations that, I, that I've had. But... You know, being able to have students to come through the program and not trying to boast a brag, but like far as the end of pathway, you know, my program is like at 96 percent. So, you know, and for the most part, all the kids that test out, they all still want to come back and participate in some kind of way. So while they might not be in the class, I can always get them before school or I can get them after school. And then, you know, they pay to be part of Skills USA. So they still act a part of the program. They're just not in the class. And so, you know, being able to have those kind of students that, that still could just play a role, it, I mean, you know, I can't, it's priceless because 
just think like this. If you had to start over every semester, how successful would your program be, Tom? Like, every, like having to start over basically every semester is, is really difficult. And, you know, we, the better kids are always a part of multiple activities, and so it's always hard to be able to, you know, get them to commit to just one thing. And so um, I would say just the fact that I've actually built relationships with a lot of the kids to the point where, you know, they're like, oh, I still want to do this. Or, you know, they'll go, they got their parents buying them equipment. And they're like, oh, can I do something with this? And I'm like, yeah, you can take pictures at the basketball game. Like, let's go. You know, so, you know, those are ways that um, that you're able to keep the, keep the program going. Teaching to the test pattern. Hey, buddy, thank you for listening to Teaching to the Test Pattern. That was part two of five in my conversation with Rob Calloway from Columbia High School. In the next episode, we talk recruiting. We talk about working with kids. We talk about building relationships with counselors and the same thing that we've both done for our counselors to hopefully build that relationship, not just selfishly. Obviously, we want we want a good relationship with our coworkers, but professionally, we want them to know that, hey, here's what we do. Here's, who, here's the kid we're looking for and go in from there. So make sure that you check that out. Before we get out of here, I want to thank Amitrace.com for their sponsorship, A-M-I-T-R-A-C-E.com. Go check them out. Get the solution you need for whatever you have going in your classroom. Amitrace.com. Give them a call. Meet with them. Discuss what they've got. Discuss what you want. Make it happen. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, or not even watching, you can tell I did, I've done a lot of TV in my day with, the, well, not even professionally, just as an educator. Thank you for listening to Teaching to the Test Pattern. Have a great day. And as always, go make awesome. Teaching to the Test Pattern.